Mosai to show his mercy on our leader Prophet Muhammad, his household and companions and followers till the day of accountability. Today we are discussing an important social issue that has to do with divorce. It is rampant today in the society and very unfortunate, very unfortunate in the mix of the Muslim Ummah is more concentrated. This is very sad because we are supposed to show example to others. The real life of marriage is supposed to be full of love, kindness, mercifulness between the husband and the wife. And that is what Allah said in the Quran. وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمًا Love and mercy, compassion. Not exchanging blow as if you are in the boxing ground. Not fighting one another. Not shouting for neighbors to come and settle you. That is totally against the content of the verse we have recited. And to men, they should know they are the cause of most of the crisis. Because leadership of that small unit called family that unit called family that small unit called family the leader of that family is the man not the woman we are not westerners we are muslims a muslim no matter how poor no matter how weak long as the marriage is conducted you are the leader of that family even if you marry the daughter of the president you should take the power of leadership in that house. Your command must be respected in that house. Unfortunately, some are meeting Hajjahs. She gives the commands. She takes all the leadership. He is just there waiting for her command. And that is a good sign for divorce is going to happen. Now, being kind to a wife and loving her, taking her responsibilities is key and primary and is compulsory on men in Islam. That's why Rasulullah Sallam says, the best of you is the best of you to his family and I'm the best of all of you. I am the best to my family. Brothers and sisters, this area is critical because it has caused a number of damages in the society. Allah has mentioned some steps to be taken so that there will be no divorce. You being the leader, number one. You are not a woman. You are a man. Men are not like women when it comes to leadership. She may be better than you in Iman, but when it comes to leadership, you are the leader. It's not campaigning. It's not voting. Already you have been voted. You should take the leadership. Steps to be taken are if she misbehaves, then you should admonish her. Call her to order with words of wisdom and conviction. Number two, desert her bed, suspend her bed. Number three, Give her a slight beating. It's allowed in Sharia. Not a beating that you will wound her in face or break her bone. A beating of showing her that you are not pleased with her. Number four is for you to call your family and her family to sit down and sit to reconciliation. There they will know who is stubborn among you and her. If she's stubborn, and they won her, your family won her, her family won her, and she persisted to the extent that she's coming harm to you. Then the family together should resolve. Not you, just overnight saying you have divorced her 10 times, 20 times. If I may judge, anyone that would divorce his wife more than once should be given lashes in public. Because he's a woman wearing trousers instead of skirts. You shouldn't be provoked by your wife. <clears throat> Unfortunately, a little provoke, ten divorce. 
And that's why today we have divorces all around. Shame on us. Will you like your mother to be divorced? Or your daughter or your sister? Did she fall down from the heaven? Did you pick her on the streets? To me, men have the lion's share of blame as regards to the issue of, of talak, divorce in the society. And, and people are not assisting situation. Somebody will marry, divorce, marry, divorce, marry four or five times. When he come to marry again, people will give, them, give him his daughter just because he's financially influential. Divorce is three times. It's only twice. Once, second, the third one, then there is no reconciliation. She must marry somebody else, not plan between you and him. And after he has divorced her, if you so wish and she wish, then you can remarry. We pray Allah to Allah to count all of us among those who maintain the pattern of sunnah in marriage. We ask him the most high not to count any of us and the Muslim Ummah among those who divorce to be actually a thing of joy and happiness and even decoration. Allahumma is al Islam wal Muslim. Wadamira Ada na Adaka Ada Adin. Allahumma alayka bil kafara wal fajara wal fasaka. Alladina yukiruna al Islam kaida. Rabbana kfilana wali wali dayna wali mansabana bil iman wal muslimina wal muslimat wal mu'minina wal mu'minat al ahaya iminum wal amwat in Allah wa malaikatu yusalluna ala nabi. يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد وبارك على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما باركت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد <تصفيق>